now so in this video let's create windows shadow so let's go back to our project and let's go to view section and let's select shadow quantities and let's look for windows let's press ok uh, you need to pay attention because if you're calculating windows and you are using facade systems like curtain walls in which you have also some windows so you should create separate curtain system shadow windows okay and let's use these parameters for our shadow so let's go here and let's use mark type mark type type comments description model and counting count and comments simple comments so these are just basic uh, parameters of course you can put much more parameters uh, which gives you information about uh, dimensions about materials about finishes about manufacture uh, components and a lot of other components so you can implement in your shadow for our project it's enough to calculate just the quantities filtering if you have separate zones separate buildings in the same project uh, uh, so you should use this part to filter in our case we don't need this one so in this example i will use type mark and type to sort i want to calculate and see the title i want to calculate the grand total okay i will not use marking i will use type mark let's put it in the center model let's put also in the center counting let's put in the center and let's calculate totals comments okay and here let's turn off blank row and let's use 2.5 iso for header and body and let's look what what we get so let's combine these parameters okay so in this case I am just showing one of the examples how you can create this uh, header or how to combin com make combination of the header of course you can just leave like you saw it in, in, in the beginning it depends also from uh, company standards from, from regional standards or what are the recommendations okay so this part let's make this part let's make 19 uh, this part let's make 30 this one 15 and the last one 15 and let's look what is the total so total is 180 it's okay now for windows let's use window type mark window 0102 and 03 so you should use the same technique in all your markings if you use dash uh, between letter or symbol and the number so you should use in all your elements the same technique if you are not using dash so you will save some space and it will look more comp more more precise in in your plan views and it will take less space but in shadows it's better to read information when it has some dashes so 
every time you need to decide which technique you should use for exact project. Okay, so we have four windows and all this description information also should be filled in if you want to have nice schedules of all the description names and technical parameters. And also from here you can see different naming techniques are used. So you should use also uh, the same technique if you put space. So you should put space in, in all examples. If no, so you should choose another technique.